welcome back welcome back to my channel this is a boy Joe again all right I'm coming to you right now with another review this is actually gonna be a unboxing and a first impression video all right here's my package I just picked up this package from the Korea and um, this package this package is from the house of um, Vagabond fragrances all right so um, this is a new house and this is actually um, I think the first release from this house so I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it alright so don't go anywhere alright wait so I got my tree star right here yeah I'm gonna pull my package I'm gonna tell you about um, everything I'm gonna give you a, I won't say a complete review but I'm just gonna give you guys um whether I like it or not I'm gonna tell you guys whether I like this new fragrance or not and it's gonna be my my opinion all right so this is wow i must say off the bat just pulling this out of the wrapper itself i am smelling i'm getting this fruity vibe from it i must say i kind of like this one i like the packaging the fruit it's not a overpowering fruity vibe but um it's one that i can I actually see myself wearing this in the summer it smells as if it will go well with the heat especially um in this tropic era jamaica you know guys jamaica very tropic uh-huh and um we already experiencing the heat in this country fuck it's a bitch so um here i'm seeing vagabond fragrances and in front as well and this one the pronunciation is very um, poor on this one. I'm not even sure if I'll get it correct. But um, as you guys can see. Hold on. I hope you guys. Alright. So I think it is pronounced. Um, Twas. Um, Twas et al. Something like that it's pronounced. It is T-R-O-I-S. E apostrophe. Um, T-O-I-L-E-S. Yeah, twas it all, twas it all, something like that. For, forgive me um, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, alright? But um, this, I think, we need to um, get a better pronunciation on this product itself. However, let me dive straight into the notes in this one. Okay, okay, let me get straight into it now, alright? This is the packaging. Yes, it's not like it sits perfectly in the box, however, it is well protected as well. I like it, I like it. For me, me personally, um, I think the simpler the packaging is the more um, pronounced the fragrance be, alright? Because really, um, really and truly, when we purchase a fragrance, especially for the packaging, you know you guys paying for the packaging, right? And 99.9% .9 of the time we dispose of those packages. Unlike Killian, you know, Killian packaging the little um, casket where you have the key where you can store jewelries jewelry in it and those stuff but these now i like the simpler packages because really and truly look at this bottle itself as soon as you have um depleted this juice you can simply just remove the label and just put something else in it perfect decant but i must tell you off the bat this stuff smells like it's gonna win this summer i ain't gonna lie to you all right I freaking like this one I ain't gonna say love as yet because I need to test it on my skin first however this is a 30 ml a one ounce bottle and it says on it Vagabond's fr Vagabond fragrances Tossetals um, it says citrus green fruity and wow the cap the cap seems to be hard to come off but there it is I actually like this one hold on let me spray it first because I'm, I'm getting an impression right here I'm not sure if I'm correct let me smell it and let me spray it and smell it first and then tell you guys what I think from it all right the initial smell reminds me of um reminds me of one of my favorite from the house of Creed but I think it is said to be a merge of both of them I'm not sure I have to look back on that but um I'm getting one of my favorite right here and this the one that is um one of my favorite is actually a fit for the tropics all right so let me spray it right here I 
Yep. Bingo. Bingo. All right. This to me, this to me is basically like a hybrid between, I think, the Creed, um, a Hawaii volcano and, um, to me, it has a touch of the, the, the silver mountain water in it as well. And I really like oh, it. Oh, right? shit. Did I just say Creed, Hawaii volcano? I think I did. Well, what I meant was um, Creed, Virgin Island water. Yes, that was an honest mistake. No, it wasn't. That was intended. All right? Because to me, the, the Alexandra Virgin, which is Hawaii volcano, is better than the Creed, Virgin Island water. All right? So, if I offended anyone, Fuck y'all feelings, alright? This is a very citrus fragrance. Reminds me of the citrus in Hawaii volcano. It is not everything overpowering or anything like that. It's just um smooth. I like this one. I can see myself wearing this one for the summer. What I'm gonna do though, I am gonna wear this I think tomorrow to work. And I'm gonna tell you guys, um, Sometime later this week, I'm gonna make another review as to um, telling you guys the performance and um, the projection on this one because I'm gonna look forward to the longevity, I'm gonna look forward to the projection, I'm gonna look forward to the silage as well. You get me? But I, I like it off the bat, I like it, it's really good. I can find myself pulling for this one more this summer, all right? Because it's to me, it is fit for the, um, the, the tropics, it's fit for the heat. And summer is coming, and we all know that with summer it comes, um, fuck it, a lot of heat. So I'm going to wear this one and tell you guys what I think, but I freaking love it. Yeah, I just said it, I love it. And as it progress, as time progresses, um, the citrus slowly dries down into a fruity vibe. I think this is a fruit vibe I was getting from the um, as soon as I opened the package before spraying it. It's very good. You guys should try it, alright? From the house of Vagabond, Twasse Twal. Yes, I think I got it correct this time, alright? So, this is your boy Ja again, coming to you from Kingston, Jamaica with another review and a new release from a new house, alright? You guys should check them out, alright? Peace.